looking for a moratorium because we've given up trying to work with this administration. Thank you. That's right. We've given up. Thank you. Sure. We get, we fall, everything we say falls on deaf ears. They don't want to listen to parents. They give everybody lip service. I don't think anyone would have ever imagined that a mayor of New York would gloat over how many schools he can close. <laughs> Just imagine that, explaining that to children in schools 20 years from now. We had a mayor who gloated over how many schools he could close in New York City. That is what exactly is going on here. Every time they close the school, we've documented it over and over again. The domino effect to the other schools. The no plan on supporting schools. Schools that are in trouble and struggling and schools that now have huge numbers of high concentrations of high need students. But the fact that 11 years and one month in, we have a mayor who's still out there saying, uh, my legacy is about how many schools I close, is why we're standing here today because nobody wants to see this happening anymore. And in terms of co-locations, parents saying they want to say and how their buildings are being used in their community. That's what they're asking for. And the mayor is saying no. Open up the doors, let people see what is going on inside of these schools. How, some, how children are being treated differently inside of the same building. That's right. This is what is going on in our city in 2013. That is why we're standing here today, saying enough, and we're going to Albany, asking them to put a stop to this madness, that's right. and that's why we all stand here today. And I want to thank all the elected officials, the community groups, the advocates, everyone standing together saying, we're going to Albany. We've given up talking to these people. Thank you very much. That's right.